In this video, we will be testing the compatibility between PTZ Optics SDI and USB camera models with the Epifan Pearl Mini. The Epifan Pearl Mini is an all-in-one video production system ideal for lecture capture and small live events. This compact unit is only 10 inches wide and less than four pounds. The Pearl Mini features a sleek seven inch touchscreen you can use for control of the unit with the ability to record and live stream engaging videos with multiple video and audio sources. So let's get started setting up this unit to discover some of the possibilities of connecting a PTZ Optics camera via USB, SDI, HDMI, or RTSP streaming to get our video feeds into the Pearl Mini. Let's start by unboxing the Epifan Pearl Mini. Let's go ahead and plug the unit into power and connect it to our local area network. Let's also insert an SD card that we will use for storage of our recorded video files. Epifan recommends a minimum size of 64 gigabytes using a class 10 or U3 SD card. Once the unit is connected to our network, we can log into the management page to start setting up our layouts. But first, let's set up our video and audio sources. For most lecture capture scenarios, we want to capture one camera and one presentation feed. For our camera input, we have multiple options. For long cable runs, we highly suggest using 3G SDI cabling, which can be run up to 300 feet and features professional locking connectors. You will notice that the PTZ Optics SDI cameras feature both HDMI and SDI video outputs. Let's go ahead and connect the camera via HDMI and assume that the camera is located within 25 feet of the Pearl Mini. We can then use our second HDMI input for our PowerPoint presentation. When you connect your laptop to the HDMI input, you can either decide to set up your display settings to extend your desktop or mirror the main display. Either way, the Pearl Mini will now be able to see your computer's output and the camera feed from the PTZ Optics camera. It's worth noting that you can also use the USB 3.0 inputs for cameras. Therefore, you can plug in a PTZ Optics USB 3.0 camera model into the USB port, or you can use the new PTZ Optics USB webcam as a video source. Another interesting way to add live video into the Pearl Mini leverages an IP protocol called RTSP. RTSP stands for Real-Time Streaming Protocol, and you can easily add live RTSP video inputs into the Pearl Mini using the configuration page. By default, your Epifan Pearl Mini is set up as a DHCP device on your local area network. Therefore, you can find the Pearl Mini's IP address on your network by tapping the configuration cog in the bottom right-hand corner of the Pearl Mini screen. When you tap the system configuration button, you can find the device's IP address. You can now enter that IP address into any web browser and start to configure your Pearl Mini remotely. To add an RTSP input, you can click Add RTSP Input under the Input section. Assuming that your PTZ Optics camera is already set up on your local area network, you can simply enter your camera's RTSP information into the Pearl's RTSP input areas. Your camera's RTSP input URL would look something like this. RTSP colon slash slash your camera's IP address slash one. You can leave the username and password fields blank and choose to add an audio delay to match your video. When you are using RTSP video over your local area network, there can be video delay of up to one to two seconds. So we only recommend adding RTSP video sources for wide angle sources where lip sync would not be an issue. For example, a wide angle camera position looking at a crowd or a zoomed in position on a projection screen. Now that we have our video sources set up, let's add our audio sources. The Pearl Mini features two XLR inputs, which can be used with mic or line level audio sources. Let's go ahead and plug in our XLR microphones, one for the presenter and one for the audience. It's now time to configure our Epifan Pearl Mini layouts. Using the custom layout editor, you can create multiple layouts for your channel for completely different looks, like picture in picture or a side-by-side -side video source. You can also add media like transparent images and custom backgrounds to any layout. And then you can resize and arrange all the different video and media elements the way that you want. When you're ready to stream or record, you can switch between these different layouts for more interesting and dynamic presentations. With the Pearl Mini, we can stream and record at the same time. We have the option to record video via MP4, AVI, or MOV file formats, which are stored directly on the SD card we inserted to the Mini earlier. 
With streaming, we can publish to any RTMP server or CDN, such as Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch, but also learning management systems such as Kaltura and more. So that's pretty much it. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions about the Epifan Pearl Mini and PTZ Optics camera integration. We've tested the PTZ Optics cameras at resolutions up to 1920 by 1080p at up to 60 frames per second. So don't forget to subscribe because you won't become a video production expert overnight. And our channel is a great resource that you can use to bolster your industry knowledge. Don't forget to share this video with someone you think that might be interested in the Epifan Pearl Mini and PTZ Optics cameras.